Hi, my name is Amit Bayani. I'm one of the co-founders of Telistex and also the lead for Telscale JS7 project and Telscale SMSC. Today we will see how to start the Telscale SMSC and define the routing rules such that the SMS can be routed from SMPP to SS7 or SS7 to SMPP and SMPP to SIP or SIP to SS7. SIP functionality has been recently added in the newest version of Tenskill SMSC. Uh, the newest version which is about to be released is Telscale SMSC 6.1.6.GA general availability so here is my Telscale SMSC I have already started the Telscale SMSC and this is my Cassandra so Telscale SMSC talks to Cassandra database let's have a look at the SMSC management so I have already pre-configured the SS7 the Cassandra scheduler the latest SMSC is also going to have the charging functionality via diameter. It will support the, the online charging and Telscale SMSC has been already tested with our own Telscale OCS server, online charging server. So I have already created, I have already defined a ESME. This ESME is basically uh, exposing the SMPP connection to, to the SMPP simulator. Telskill SMSC binary comes with uh, SMPP simulator and the SS7 simulator. So it's very easy to define the new ESME. You can just create the, you, uh, click on the create ESME button, define the name, system ID, password, the IP address from where the connection will come in. Uh, this is when, when the SMPP session type is server so local, locally it's server and the remote will act as a client so it will initiate the connection and you can define the whole range of options over here the new additions here are source type of number, numbering plan, indicator and source range so all the SMSs coming from this SMPP connection should match the type of number, numbering plan and range defined here. This range is a Java regular expression so you can you can set a specific expression that you expect to receive from the SMPP connection as the source address. The routing type number, plan indicator and routing range defines uh, if the SMS that is in the SMSC is supposed to be sent to this SMPP connection or not. Uh, we have defined a generic one so all the SMS connection all the SMS that comes in the uh, SMSC will be automatically routed to this SMPP fair enough so the, the SMPP connection has been already created I have already started the SMPP simulator we can go through the step again so once you start the SMPP simulator it looks like this you can configure the parameters for bind uh, you can have bind transfer, transceiver receiver transmitter and since we defined your server the ESME types is the SMPP connection type is server locally so this is client the, the simulator will initiate the SMPP connection and you have some more parameters about request uh, expiry timeout and window monitor interval so let's say OK, we say run test and the window opens. I have already started a Wireshark trace and I am pressing SIP, SMPP and TCAP. So let me initiate the SMPP session. So as you see, once I started the session, the simulator sent bind transceiver request to SMSC and it's connected. This is uh, once you go to SMPP server, you will see the current session session size is one. So there is only one connection so far active, and we know it's this. So we see that the state is bound now, and you will also see all the statistics, the bound duration, how many requests you have received, what kind of requests, if there were any kind of errors, uh, what is the remote 
address from where the request is initiated and what is the port the remote type is client so all those details can be seen from the UI fair enough now we can configure the SMS message so we'll say hello to SIP from SMPP the source address is double six double six and the destination is double five double five I have already set up my SIP client twinkle I use twinkle for this let me close my previous windows so this is the twinkle I have created a profile with the name double five double five and uh, you can see the details it's bound to port 5065 and localhost um, so once you once you start SMSC you have to edit the SIP stack so all the SMSs that comes into the SMSC you will say uh, has to go to this IP address to this port if the address range matches double five double five so from here if I'm sending SMS to double five double five it will match to the SIP stack configured address and the SMS will be delivered to the SIP stack let's check this out so I'm sending a message from the client at the same time let me keep the window open for twinkle so we can see the magic I'm submitting a message you can see the submit sm has been delivered to smsc and response ok smsc will now insert this sms into cassandra database in case if there are any failures if the sim client is not available so it has to retry um, there is some initial delay for, for delivery which is configurable you can keep it as zero for immediate delivery by default it's uh, 60 seconds i believe this all is configurable via the ui you can go to the server setting scheduler and this is the fetch period max so sorry so yeah delivery delay configuration so this is first due delay in seconds is 60 seconds right and the message has been already sent so within 60 seconds you you should see the message getting delivered to the same yeah yeah you are, yeah you go so this is hello to SIP from SMPP so as you can see that SMSC has delivered the message to the SIP because the routing rule matched the routing was the message was sent to double five double five which is which is configured for SIP fair enough now let's try to send message to SS7 so if none of the routing rule configured matches uh, for SMPP or SIP the SMS will be delivered to SS7. Uh, Telescale SMSC comes with uh, SS7 simulator. I have already started the SS7 simulator, and um, you can see it's already connected. It's it's on uh, it's based on Sigtron. So this SS7 simulator acts more like a client. Now let's configure the the destination address and instead of 555 I will say 9999 now there is no routing rule defined for 9999 so by default SMSC will deliver to SS7 ok and let's submit the message so you can see there is a submit SM which goes to SMSC recipient address is 9999 and there is no corresponding matching routing rule um, since this, the SMPP collection that we defined has already defined uh, wildcard as, as routing rule but the message is coming from the same SMPP so it will not be routed back to the same SMPP So we should see the message uh, mobile terminated map message mobile terminated SMS power SMS being delivered to the SS7 simulator yep yeah you go so it sends the send routing information uh, to the simulator we can see that SRI request has been received 
and the simulator sends back the response corresponding response providing the global title and the node information of the simulator so SMSC will send empty forward SMS to the simulator over here right so we received the mobile terminated response so this is how the SMS is routed from SMPP to SS7 let's try to do the same for the SIP so I can send the message to SIP double colon 666 at the rate 127.0.0.1 and by default the SMSC is listening to 127.0.0.1 and 5080 the SIP stack on the SMSC uh, this is configured via Jamesley SIP resource adapter this is the Jamesley management console so you can see it's listening to oh sorry 5060 we'll change this to 5060 okay and let's do the magic again so I will send it to 666 and I will say hi to SMPP from SIP let's send this message so you can see this has been delivered as a SIP message to SMSC and uh, the payload is a text plain payload hi to SMPP from SIP and we should see this message getting delivered to the SMPP client within one minute It's possible to change all the routing rules at the runtime, so you can have the 666 instead of getting delivered to SMPP gets delivered to SS7 just by changing the configuration on the UI. All those uh, configurations supported by UI is also configurable via command line interface. So if you have the if you have the server which doesn't support the UI, you can use CLI. Here you go, and we have the deliver SM being delivered to SMPP. So this is what we received. Hi to SMPP from SIP. Right. So this is a very short demo on how to configure the routing rules. Uh, the next part of the video, we will see the more detailed configuration of SMSC. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.